What's goody everybody, it's your boy Wilder42k and welcome back to the channel. Been a little slow with the uploads the past two weeks, work has been a killer for me lately, but we are pushing on. We got a banger for you guys today and it's a new series that's been suggested to me several times over the past few weeks and today we will be talking on what happened to Jose Bautista. Jose Bautista, at least in recent memory, is one of the most prolific power hitters in Major League Baseball, but it didn't finish or even start that way for Jose. He started his MLB career in 2004. Drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates in the 20th round of the 2000 MLB draft, he did spend three years in the minors and was picked up by the Baltimore Orioles in the 2004 Rule 5 draft. He ended up only playing 16 games with the Orioles and then was waived to be picked up by the Tampa Bay Rays mid-June of that same year. After 12 games, the Kansas City Royals purchased his contract from the Rays. He once again only played 13 games for Kansas City before being traded to the New York Mets, where he didn't play a single game for the Royals, being shipped right back to Pittsburgh in mid-July. 2006 was his first full year with the team and the Buckos, where he hit 235 and 16 home runs. Going to 2007, he played almost a full season, only missing 20 games, playing 142, posting a 254 batting average, and hitting just 15 home runs as a starting third baseman. But in 2008, he eventually lost his starting job and was sent to the AAA team, the Indians, in August. That same month in 2008, he was traded once again, this time to the Toronto Blue Jays, where in his first few months there, he posted only a 214 batting average in three home runs in 21 games. With a lackluster 2008 season, the 2009 season, the Jays decided they wanted him back on the field and signed him to another year. And then in 2010, Bautista turned on the Jets, going from a mediocre hitter to one of the best power hitters in baseball at the time, going from a hard hitting rate of 30.1% to 39.6% and a fly ball rate of 54.5% leading baseball that year. Ironically, though, he was also swinging at more pitches outside the zone, swinging at just 14% in 2009 to a whopping 23.3% in 2010. The most shocking part about all of that is that his K percentage dropped as well, going from 21 to 17% strikeout percentage, going from a 10 home run a year hitter with a career 91 WRC plus to a 54 home run hitter with a 422 WOBA. Counting in the increased walk rates and a lower K percentage, he carried his streak into 2011, posting a 302, 447, 603 slash, and an 8.1 F war. Going into the 2012 season, he continued his dominance for three more with a 261, 377, 522 slash rates through 2015 in Toronto. While he was scheduled to be a free agent at the end of the 2016 season, he was demanding a five-year, $150 million extension, but Toronto didn't agree that a 35-year-old wouldn't be on a decline, so they ended up not coming to an agreement before the 2016 season. He ended up having a gradual decline following the 2015 season, a mediocre defense minus his cannon of an arm. He went on to have his highest hard contact percentage at 41%, but also had his highest soft contact percentage of his career at 21.3%. Even with a decent year, there was a blatant decline, aided by a drop in walk rates and higher strikeouts. His 2017 season was his worst ever. The Jays declined his option and Bautista's career in Toronto came to an end. And in 2018, he went on to play for the Braves and the Mets in the early months of the season. Before going to the Philadelphia Phillies and having a decent month of August, he ended up not getting signed for the 2019 season and ultimately, his career was over. Defined by a phenomenal six-year stretch in the T.O. with a bunch of mediocrity surrounding those six years, that is what happened to Jose Bautista. It wasn't injury, it wasn't off the field antics, it's simply he just started to play bad baseball. Heading into that T.O. stint, he played really well. He was a mediocre hitter, and when he came to Toronto, he really stepped it up. He turned down the Jets, but it was ultimately only a six-year really solid career. Will he be a Hall of Famer? Probably not, but time will tell. Anyways, Wild Things, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know every single time I upload. Also, make sure to comment what you want to see from the channel next. A new series, a player you may want to know what happened to, a team you want to know why everyone hates, or just a cool sports story that you think I should cover. And please, let me know what you thought of today's video in the comments. Much love, everybody, and I will see y'all in the next one.